Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and this is the Masslock M176 XDLH, a lock which you can buy on Amazon.com today for under 30 US dollars. If you think you've seen this video before, well, you may well just have done. This is actually a reshoot, this is my Redux video. Why? Because I think I could do a better job. So I'm going to ask you the question, do you think that this is the worst design lock in the world? Well, I'm going to provide some evidence to show that it just might be. Not least because there are six ways, six ways that I know of into this lock, only two of which are legitimate by um, using the combination and the key. We'll come on to that in a second. So let's have a look at an, another lock, a lock with no expectations, a lock with very little in the way of design at all, and by effect security. This is a little cast iron standard steel shackle three pin lock. You can buy this on a market in the UK for a few pence. We're talking about 20 pence on the market. You do not look at this and think design. You do not look at this and think security. And well, you shouldn't, should you? Now let's have a look at the packaging here. This lock is telling you that it's got a lifetime guarantee. Okay, pretty good actually. Tough under fire, all right. Number one choice of professionals. Hmm, best cut resistance, okay. And actually, to be fair to it, it does have boron carbide shackle, extremely hard. Better weather resistance, that's good. Anti-shim, uh-huh. And actually, to be fair to it again, it does have um, shackles which prevent you from sliding shims in to uh, unlock it. So yeah, pretty good. It also says you can set and reset your own combination. Nice and convenient. And then you look here, seven out of 10 padlocks. This is a security level of seven. According to Masterlock, that means medium to high, recommended for outdoor general purpose. Okay, so when you're looking at this lock, you're thinking this lock has been designed well. It's providing me seven out of 10 security level. What could go wrong? Okay, well, first of all, let's have a look at the first legitimate way into this lock. A nice combination uh, dial. And the combination is 2350, so let's put that in. Press down the shackle, release, and we're open. Okay, that's pretty good, worked as designed. That is not a bad feature, there's plenty of combination padlocks out there. All right, well, what about another way into this lock? Well, there are other ways into this lock, and legitimate ones. What if you forget your combination? That's okay, you have a little keyhole here a keyhole for a four pin key. There we go. So this is a little pin tumbler on the inside, four pins, open up, reset your combination, everybody is happy. Okay, but are we happy? Because by introducing a second way in, a second way to unlock the lock, we've actually increased the ways in which we can exploit it. So. We've exhausted all of the legitimate ways into this lock. How can we use these, uh, the design, um, to exploit it and get into the lock? Well, what about raking the lock? This is, after all, just a pin tumbler. And not only a pin tumbler, but a pin tumbler with only secu uh, standard security pins. Now, bear in mind that you're only as strong as the weakest link in terms of security. So, is this a strong lock? Let's just go in with a standard rake, um, give it a, a little bit of a, a rake under a small amount of tension, depressing the shackle, and ah, uh, yeah, we're, we're open. Hmm. Okay, so that's raking the lock. What about um, a different picking technique? So that's the third way in. What about the fourth way in? Uh, I'm going to try to single pin pick it. Tension tool in, shackle depressed. Let's have a look what we can do. Okay, pin uh, four, three, two, one. One, two, and I think we may well be picked. Nope, just holding us up. These small keyways can actually be pretty tough to pick.
especially at this angle. <laughs> and I think we've got it. Yep, we're open. There we go. So that's the fourth way in. A bit hard to do in hand, I have to admit, on camera, but there you go. Okay, so this is pretty bad, isn't it? We're only, remember, we're only secure as a weakest part. We ranked this lock in a couple of seconds, picked it um, in well under a minute, um, and that would have been easier if I'd push it against the desk. Is that the end of um, this? No, actually. So there is another way in, and by the way, this is a bypass. And this has been known about in the Maslock M175 um, for at least seven years. If I go onto YouTube and I put in Maslock 175, which is an earlier um, combination dial padlock that Master made, there's been a, a specific bypass which has been known about for many, many years. There's many, many videos on it. Please go have a look. Now, what's interesting is that this lock also uh, can be exploited in the same way. You go in with a special tool and you go in between the, the the actual combination dial wheels and you can actually bypass the whole thing. You don't need the combination at all. You can go in, depress the shackle, lift up, and we're open. It's that quick. Okay, so that's the fifth way in, the third uh, non-legitimate way. Okay, lock it back up, and it is locked. Is there any other exploits? Well, yes, actually, there is. You can then decode it. So if I put this, uh, this tool in and I just scroll, until we get to, um, you can see that what's happening is as I rotate the wheels, then it goes flat, so that's a seven. That's, uh, let's go in, go in, go in, keep going, seven, 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 up, oh, flat again, eight. Keep going. What we're doing is we're detecting a flat spot on the actual wheels themselves and it's flat that's a zero and what you'll see is when i find that flat spot the tool itself rocks back on itself and and you'll see it move so as we're getting sort of there we go so there you go that's a uh, 7805 now i happen to know that when you've got that in all you do is you take five off it so seven would then be a two Eight would be a three, zero would be a five, and five would be a, a zero. Okay, now I've decoded it as well. So that's six ways into this lock. So through its design, it's generated a number of ways in which we can exploit it. Um, and like I said, the the I think the worst exploit, the way the way in which you can actually um, bypass the whole locking mechanism, this is a technique which has been known about um, for at least seven years that I know of on the YouTube channels. Um, you can go look it up and look up Maslock 175, a similar padlock to this, but the, yet this padlock also um, is able to be exploited in the same way. Now, let's go back to this lock. It's clearly got a, a number of design flaws do you think the number of design flaws mean that it's the worst design lock in the world? Please let me know in the comments. Before I go though, here's another food for thought. Some people might be saying, yes, but the seven out of 10 is only for its physical security. And I'll be perfectly honest with you, yeah, it's actually quite a chunky lock. You know, in terms of the, the, the way the body's constructed and the shackle, I'm really quite satisfied that this is a strong lock. Definitely tough under fire in terms of physical resistance. But look at this lock. This is the Maslock um, XL M175 DLF. And this gives itself a 9 out of 10 security. And as far as I can tell, apart from this one having a slightly bigger body and a slightly longer shackle, the only difference is that on this lock, you've got an added keyway. So I don't know what that means. Does that mean that um, the bigger body, longer shackle and added keyway somehow adds up to a two point deduction in security? Maybe it is that actually this security level doesn't mean entirely physical security. These locks are in terms of construction, as far as I can tell, pretty similar. But can this one be exploited in the same way? Well, let's have a look. Uh, 
I think the answer is sadly yes. Okay, I hope you found that informative. I hope you found that interesting. Um, I think this is a lesson learned there for any lock designers out there is that you are only as secure as the weakest part of your lock. Um, everybody else, just I really hope you enjoyed that video and I'll see you all next time.